Caroline Garcia to serve. Ready, play. Taylor. Thirty eleven. Ons and Caroline Garcia have played each other since juniors. And Ons very aware of how in form the French woman is. Oh. She said, I really have to improve my game to beat her. I'm going to have to drive her crazy with all the changes of rhythm. players 13, that like to create 15. on a tennis court need time. When they get rushed, it's very hard to be, to get away with the, the talent in the hands. And that should, I would imagine, be the goal of Garcia. How do I overwhelm Jabur enough mm -hmm. she does not have time? 13. Not in here, is it, Mary? <laughs> yeah. Just sorting out a few bugs. Oh no! I see it's usually pretty good up there. A great point to start this match. Yeah, Garcia's first instinct, Mare, is to move forward. A lot of WTA players take a step back when they get a short ball. Garcia is all in. Mistimed that volley, though, and this is a big early point for Jabur. Definitely helps calm the nerves if you can get a break early. Lead of Akarin. First game. By getting this far, Andre Borg can move to number three in the world. Or if Sabalenka wins the title, she's in the other semi, she can get to number two. Spurs coach Isam has been such a ride Shabur for the two of them it. these last couple of years. And he'll let us know how he feels throughout <laughs> this match. Very emotive. First seat available for now, please. Thank you. And interestingly, Garcia's coach used to work with Jabor, Bertrand Perret. Great deal. One of the things that Owens likes so much about Isam is he believes in her game. He didn't try and change it. Like that she had that creativity, gave her the space to use it as well in practice and in matches. She had a lot of coaches telling her this style won't work. Oh. But he embraced it.
mess of a start here for Fulte. Garcia. Look. Loses seven points in a row, Merritt. This, you got to take stock if you're Jabur right here. Make Garcia play right now. Oh. And that has been a specialty of Garcia these last couple of months, is that ultra-aggressive second serve return. Her positions herself already a couple feet inside the baseline and then moves forward. And Jabur's going to have to decide if she's going to go for bigger seconds oh. or a higher percentage of first serves. You cannot go middle of the box in the 70s against Garcia. Oh. 14, 13. Drew the double. Oh. Again, Jabber. Six errors already. Caroline Garcia. Two games to love, Fosset. That's nerves, Mayor. Yeah. It's a much different start for Garcia when she played Coco Goff. It's a four love so quickly. That helped her relax a little bit. It was Goff who looked so nervous. Love that. And Garcia here needing to get a little bit of range on her shots. We I mean, know she plays high risk tennis. There's certain times where you've got to pull back just a little bit, find your range before pulling the trigger again. Here, trying to pump herself up here early. That's you. That's yeah. better hitting from Caroline Garcia. She's on the board.
Jabber leads two games to one. He's looking for quiet intensity from the French woman. Ladies and gentlemen, take first available seat for now, please. Thank you. Jabour threw a racket a couple of times on her way to beating Isla Tomjanovic, the woman who'd knocked down Serena Williams. She's getting kind of cranky out there. Her nickname is Minister of Happiness. She said, after that match, I think maybe I got fired. And she's feeling right. pretty good right now. And that's Anza's husband, Kareem, in the black t-shirt on the front row. That's her sports psychologist. Oh. A couple of players now, Mayor, are very open about their work in that regard. Iga Sviantek as well, traveling with her sports psychologist. Oh. Fetino. Kareem, the, the husband, also works in fitness with Ons. Coaching, again, legal here. First time at a major. Then each other. Jabour's looking keen tonight, isn't she? That's Melanie Millard who keeps showing Jabour leads. her, the sports Three psychologist of all. She said, apart from everything else, she, she was hanging around guys. It was like a total guy team. And she needed a, <laughs> she needed a, a, a woman like Melanie to help sort that out a bit. Earlier this summer, Jabur started her US okay. Open series. There's Arancha Sanchez. These two met in Charleston this year and struck up a nice friendship. But first tournament for Jabur this summer on the hard courts was San Jose. She went alone. No husband, no coach. Not a rancha. No, no one. No. Used the hitting partners the tournament provided there. Wow. And wanted to do Great it alone. And, and Mayor would love to see that. Kvitova, I think it's one tournament a year, goes by herself or takes a friend with her. And I kind of like that. so healthy, sure. isn't it? Yeah, of course. There's so many tournaments. And just to try and figure things out, you get a better appreciation of the people that are then there around supporting you. Rancha, a champion here in New York, and a three-time French Open winner. A lot of information being given. Yes, I'm using this time when Ons is on the side where he is to communicate with her. Caroline Garcia was ranked 188 in the world in 2011, and the French Open gave her a wild card. And after she played a terrific match against Maria Bravo. Sharapova, and Andy Murray said he's seen the girl Sharapova is playing is going to be number one in the world one day. What a player! You heard it here first. She said it put incredible pressure on. She said from actually. Actually, actually nowhere. Oh. She said, I was 150, 200 in the world. I was 17 years old. My game was not ready. I was not able to play that consistently, that kind of level. It took her a while. She said, 
it was tough because people were expecting a lot. She said it took some time to come step by step to the top. 2018, she got all the way to number four in the world, but she couldn't maintain that either. She's getting criticized in the press for being too aggressive. Oh. Oh. So she backed off and that made it worse. And here she is now playing her very best tennis at 28 years old. She's won three different tournaments on three different surfaces, but another error, her 11th. And Jabour now with a chance to go up 4-1. And Garcia's gonna have to start to make some adjustments in dealing with the slice mare. She is not getting the spin needed. You gotta change the spin when someone's slicing to you. Can't go hard and flat at that same trajectory. She's just missing too many in the net right now. I watched Jabour warm up today. Lindsay, I can't tell you how many slice backhands cross court she was hitting. Never leads, four games to one. First She's looking good. In less than 20 minutes, Andre Bohr is already up 4 1 on the hottest player this summer, Caroline Garcia. Fifth day love. Jabour before this tournament had never gotten past the third round of the Open. Third and I always worry, worry Mayor, about some players that just never settle down and learn to play here in New York. It's a different animal here. <laughs> Between the outside courts and coming into Ash, oh, the noise, sometimes the fans aren't super engaged in matches, and some players really struggle with that and didn't know with Jabur coming in to this year's U.S. Open. Would that be the case for her? Mm. Clearly. You're saying this is a different vibe than Wimbledon. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> and, and she's made whatever adjustments she's needed. Look at this. Again, Everything's working for all Jabour. Jabber leads, five games to one, first set. Jabber was in the player's lounge the other day, turned the corner and walked right into Andy Roddick. And when I say Andy was probably more excited to meet her <laughs> than Ons to meet him, it was a great moment. I think the picture went out on social media. She has so many fans, not only in the locker room, but past players. Oh. Oh. She had long said that Andy Roddick was her favorite player because of his style of play and his humor. So, yeah, she was delighted. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> Storylines here at, at this year's Good tournament team, have man. been sensational. Obviously, Serena the first week, but let's take a look at Francis Tiafo's journey, his story, Andre Burr's story. How did these two get here? It's remarkable. Carlos Alcarez, he's in the semis. He's still a teenager from Spain. See his dad in the black T-shirt in the front row. He has really taken a step back this year, which sometimes is hard for parents to do when they've been the coach and gone everywhere with their kids. But Mayor, there comes a time when the natural separation occurs. And I give Garcia's parents a lot of credit for handing over the reins to that man there. Fifteen, forty. 
this is Another game Six for games to one. Board. New balls, please. Six, one, in 23 minutes. Second set. Jabber. Two she won easily tucks away the opening set. She starts the second. Garcia's team right here, especially while she's on the side that they're on. You're doing everything you can to try and get her to reset. She hasn't lost a set here. She hasn't lost a set in quite some time. Got to get her to be able to put that behind her. 13, 15. How worried are you, Mayor? I, I mean, I don't know how she's going to be able to pull it together the way Jabor is playing. Garcia had come in on a 13 match win streak. That's from the start of the qualifying in Cincinnati. She won four straight matches this summer against the top 10. She leads the tour in aces. She's already had 30 of them here, 316 for the year. Hasn't struck one yet. Everything going Love Jabour's 15. way. They've played twice before, and Jabour has won both of them. But truly, coming into this semifinal, the server was playing better than anyone. Oh. Oh, she got a 
away with that. Garcia misplayed that half volley. Jabir was ready on top Let's of that. Maybe Let's one see. of the few shots that Jabir unable to control. Another first serve return put in by Jabir. And Merrick Garcia is not getting any free points. Jabir is making almost 95% of her returns. And on the other hand, 64% of her first serves aren't coming back. Total flip in the script out here. Mary Pierce watching on. There's been a couple of Wrong French demo. women who've gotten this far at the Open. Second set. Mary Pierce. She did it in 2005. And Emily Moresma, 2002 and 2006. Oh. Let's second set. It's go time here for Garcia. Has to start finding her return game. And still standing inside that baseline to return the first. It's worked well against some players, Mary, but it, it ain't working tonight. No. Some players don't mind that target. Other players feel very rushed. Goff said she felt incredibly rushed with where Garcia standing, but if someone stands so close, oh. and you can hit your spots. Yeah, you're rushing them. Yeah. A good server typically doesn't mind somebody standing in there. That's you. Again, challenging the serve. It's another miss. Okay, Two-one, Jabor. 
after a very Number quick 6 1 first set. Set one, second set, and by one set to learn. Ladies and gentlemen, take first available seat for now, please. Thank you. That looks like Jim Courier. He's got one of his sweet scams going tonight. Maria Sharapova, by the way, is in the ESPN booth. Talking with Chris Fowler and Chris Everett. She's here for Fashion Week, which starts next week. She and her partner gave birth to little Theodore, Theo, over the summer. Five-time champion, including here, Maria Sharapova. It was last year she arrived to watch one of Novak's Love matches. Busy. Yes, she did. She's here for both. Let's not just okay, say okay, Fashion Week. Let's okay. just say both the U.S. Open. Good call. Good call. Stand corrected. That one, didn't she? Yep. She took stock of where Garcia was and tried to change her mind there. Hasn't made many mistakes in this match, but this was one, an opportunity to go up love 30. And the Garcia serve. See how she responds to that one. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this can Thank happen you. here, Mayor. And sometimes if the fans aren't, the match isn't riveting, Fans let you know, don't they? Yeah. They'll do other things. They'll carry on other conversations. 15, Judd Hirsch is in the house. That's Rosie. That's Rosie behind exactly. it. Lynn Manuel Miranda's here. He's been here a while. He's a huge tennis fan. Rebel Wilson. She's here. Played there by Jabur. Using her forehand. It's been her serve. That's been the biggest weapon on this court so far tonight. There it was her forehand. She can really open up this match right here with another break. Before this match began, Lindsay, how well Garcia would, would handle this match, this moment, this semi. So far, it's been really rough. Thank you, Lindsay, man. The players are ready. Thank Another you. Reminder, you can follow this U.S. Open on all manner of social media. Thank you. 
That's nicely done there. Needs to try and play more points like that. It's been the backhand, though, that's been letting her down, Mare. Normally such a reliable shot for Garcia. And again, 42 tries it has taken her in Grand Slams to get to a semifinal stage, despite at one point being ranked four in the world. And we've seen it before. We've seen players get to their biggest match and not be able to play their regular style of tennis. We should mention oh, that Caroline okay. Garcia has won a couple of major doubles titles. With Christina Mladenovic, she won the French Open doubles in 2016 and again this year. She's been a long time Fed Cup player, now called the Billie Jean King Cup. She oh. has played and won under pressure. effort there from Jabur. Love to see that. Just also sending a message to Garcia. Nothing is going to come easy. Got here. Just couldn't quite control that forehand. her way forward she's having a lot of success nine of 11 when she's found herself at the net mare she's just missed too many approach shots hasn't gotten there enough stan smith of course been here the whole time This is going to be a tough volley anyway for Garcia, but then she realized she might have had a fraction of a moment to react to it. And it bobbled right past her racket anyway. Chance for 4 1. This is exactly when, if you're Jabur, you do not want to yes. open that door even a little bit for Garcia. Advantage, Ace number eight for Ol Jabur. Sixteen of eighteen when that first serve goes in. Yeah. Yes. There, Garcia, just trying to stay in the point, pulling her shots in from the sideline, taking those out of play. Advantage, 
This has been a comprehensive beating so far. She's two games away from her second major of the summer. Not the semifinal we could have expected from this 28-year-old French woman who has had such a blazing summer. Has outplayed everyone, but not tonight. Down a set, down 1-4. She's been broken four times and has not yet had a break point against Shabur, sir. La pity. Well, such a difference in returns and play, Mare. Again, Jabur putting almost 95% of her returns against Garcia's first serve back in play. And on the flip, she's, get, she's the one getting free points tonight. It has rattled Garcia. I'm not sure we're going to make it an hour. No. It's at the 50-minute mark now. Jabir giving herself big targets with the return. Not really going for winners, but make, making sure she gets it back in play. And again, right there, 93% of her returns off the first server going in. Garcia, throughout this tournament, Mare was winning so many free points with her serve. There's one. Right when she needed one, 110. Right at the left hip of Jabir. Second ace of the night from Garcia helps her win that game. How about that? Three, three points in a row from Garcia, Mare, on her first serve after struggling this entire match. People to get any. Is she finally relaxing? Got to figure out a way to make returns. And again, have to be able to make adjustments. She just hasn't yet on her return game.
Fetero. when she needed to start making a move. One six, one four, fifteen thirty. <laughs> Let's see if that play works. Jabor is only serving in the in the low forties this set, so this is where she should Let's be going after it. That's a When is she going to move back, Lindsay? Hey, it's her dad or mom. Yeah. <laughs> Got to tell her that. I guess. But you said, look in their eyes. At the beginning of this match. You call it, Lindsay. Look, I mean, look in the right. eyes of Caroline Garcia. They're searching for some way to get back in this thing. making some mistakes you have to make the adjustment right if you're missing in the net start to miss them long go the opposite and that just hasn't happened yet backhands are still flat and too many merit they're actually in the middle of the net yes oh. second serve Jabur has hit. That one yes. just 71. So maybe just a little bit of nerves towards the end trying to get to her first U.S. Open final. She has been so good at pitching a, a great night. Advantage Jabur. Second set. 28-year-old Caroline Garcia of France serving to stay in the semis. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Players are ready. Thank you. Fifteen. 
<laughs> and see Garcia there, that little lap to her camp. Felt like an I can't do anything laugh. So hard when you've been playing so well and you feel almost invincible. All those matches in Cincinnati, got the title, only lost two sets there, hadn't lost a set here, and then cannot find your form in the match you want it the most in. She's hit tonight. Good Mayor, the forehand, Good though, team. it had some spin. It had that rotation. So many shots of hers have been so flat. This volley, just sensational job angling that one off. But you could still accelerate with a little margin. Then Garcia. the best game she's played. Jabberly, five games to three. Jabour Second gets set. to try to sort this out. And at least so far, she's played with such a, a relaxed virtuosity. And she played this game that way. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. from the final. Thirteen, fifteen. Thank you. 
He meant that forehand. That was 94 miles an hour. 30 on. Open finalist. 